I've always wanted to start a zine. I think that's actually really attainable. It's not something far-fetched. It's It would be easy to start. In the big scheme of things, one thing that we've talked about is hopefully, I mean, a dream would be to open a creative space where people could come and create. I could just imagine it being like a brick studio and then there would just be supplies, photo supplies, video supplies, where people just come create, uh, brainstorm, yeah. just like hang out kind of. But something for everybody. Not, yeah. Not any kind of Not specific. just like YouTubers or beauty, something for writers. Any kind of artist yeah. or creative from all walks of life. That would be really cool. I think right now my biggest style inspiration isn't really a specific person or style. It's more about whenever I see somebody wearing whatever it is that they wear with confidence, that really inspires me. But in terms of, I guess, an actual person, if I had to say, I really like what Tyler, the creator, has been wearing for a while now. And he looks confident and I feel like he is not you know, into following trends or really caring about what other people think about what he wears, and I really like that. I can't really pinpoint what or who inspires my style because, as you guys can tell, I wear jeans and a t-shirt almost every day, so for me, my that's my style, like laid back, cool, chill, so I don't know, there's not really a specific person that inspires my style, more like, does it fit, is it comfortable? And that's basically it. My favorite food has been ramen. I think because the weather is cooling down yeah. right now, I've been so into ramen. I can really see myself eating soups right now. I had chicken pot pie last night, and honestly, it was like one of the best things I've had in a long time. And I think it's just because the weather is starting to cool down. It's kind of Reminds me of like a home cooked meal. Yeah. So anything that's really warm. Yeah. It's I was kind say, of reminding me of comfort food. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So ramen I've really been into. Also chips. Yeah. And tea chips. drinks. Mm. Things that are not good for you, but potatoes you, too. Oh yeah. I've really been into Guilty potatoes. Guilty pleasures. Potatoes. potatoes. <laughs> I have been watching This Is Us on NBC. It reminds me a lot, or there's some similarities to parenthood. Mm -hmm. And when that ended, my heart was broken. So I'm, I really like it. I've started watching Transparent. Mm -hmm. I really me. like it. I really do like it. We both have been loving Abandoned on Viceland. Yes, Scream, Scream Queens, Queens. Which I know some people are like, that's a teen show, but I think it's funny. I think it is funny too. Whenever I really want to laugh about something, I will watch Scream Queens. If YouTube was never to have existed ever, wow, I don't know. I would probably have continued going to school and I think Hopefully, I would be doing something in either graphic design or video production, video editing. I think I would still be doing something creative, maybe not related to fashion, but definitely something creative. I was dead set on doing fashion merchandising when I went to school or retail buying. I remember mm -hmm. that they said those are the only jobs you can get here in Arizona, so yeah. probably I would have succumbed to like the peer pressure and just gone to school for that and found a job in that and I would more than likely be very unhappy. So I'm glad YouTube exists. I don't usually keep up with um, runways or fashion week, but I did enjoy Hillier Bartley and Alex. I thought they were both kind of cool, different. I was attracted to the colors and the leather and things like that. I really liked Off-White this season. Um, I really liked Simone Rasha and uh, Esteban Cortazar. Those were all pretty good. A good mixture. Like very feminine and then very street and edgy. I don't know. Just really anything that's, anything that's cool. <laughs> I would probably choose unable to answer any questions because I feel like a big part of learning and gaining knowledge is asking questions. So as long as I am able to ask questions, I can still share my answers, but maybe not directly through answering them. I feel like there's maybe a different way I can do that to still How spread exactly? knowledge. I don't know, but I feel like I would be able to. I would have to agree. I 
don't talk a lot, really. You as it, <laughs> yeah, I would say you talk more than I do, that's so true. I wouldn't have that's to answer true. anything. So yeah, definitely ask questions, always. I'm always learning. Yeah. So, right? Yeah, we're always learning. I think one thing that I've learned is that I don't have to make what is popular or I don't have to make what I feel like people will necessarily like. Um, and that I feel like we have a voice and we're very lucky to be able to share that with people that enjoy watching what we make. And yeah, I, I feel more confident in what I make and more confident in myself. So YouTube has definitely been probably, a, probably if anything, just a huge confidence boost for me. I've learned that I shouldn't take what people say about me to heart and let it affect me. I think yeah. a part of being a YouTuber, I hate using that word to be honest, a part of making content and putting it out on the internet, social media is having thick skin because mm -hmm. there are so many people out there that, not even so many people, but there will always be people out there that do not like you for whatever reason and you can't let that bring you down or affect you or um, let yourself believe that what they say about you is true when yeah. inside you know who you are and yeah. that's all that matters. So I would say that's one of the most important lessons that I've learned here on YouTube land. Yeah.